two days before Thanksgiving, and I know then I having the whole week in front of me to fix my electric box. This is the electric box that I built specifically to clean Oriental rug from urine odor. The phone was ringing. I pick up the phone and the nice lady the other side say to me, would you please come to my house? I have an emergency. And I said, okay. Let me have the address. The lady gave me the address in Boca Raton and I'm on my way over there to inspect the problem. This area in Boca Raton is the one of one of the most exclusive area. And I'm coming to the house and the live may take me to the living room. I'm waiting over there looking at the living room and I said Okay, this is not a problem to clean this rug. And then the lady coming over and she said to me, this is not the rug. Let me take you to the rug and you see the problem. Walking to the other side of the house, a pool table on the gorgeous contemporary rug, one of a kind, made specifically for this lady. I look at the rug and I said, it's look nice to me. And she said, yes, the cats pee on the base of the pool table and the smell is horrible. And I have many guests coming for Thanksgiving. I need you to pick up the rug tomorrow morning. The company will come over, will assemble the pool table. They roll the rug, they will put it in a garage, and then you can pick it up. I said, not a problem. I will be there tomorrow. It's the Thanksgiving Eve to pick up the rug. The lady explained to me that she having two beautiful Persian cat, white, gorgeous. They don't like the husband. So after he play a pool, the cat's going on the base of the pool table and spray. She didn't take it into consideration because it was not so obvious until it become overwhelming. And now she have a problem. She have to fix this problem. So we have to fix the, the company will clean their legs of the table and replace them. And I'm going to take the rug and clean it the next day. The next morning I'm coming around 12 o'clock and park near the garage, seven car garage. The lady opened the garage and here is the rug on near a white Bentley. One side of the garage had a white Bentley. The other side of the garage had a black Bentley convertible. Okay. And she, the lady looked at me and she said, that's it. The cat will never come to the house again. I fix her everything in the garage nicely. So she will have a nice place in the garage and this is what she will stay all the time she, till she will know how to behave. Okay. I pick up the rug, I took it to the warehouse, cleaned the rug. After Thanksgiving, I'm calling the lady. The lady said, you're welcome to come over to deliver the rug. We scheduled the time, I'm coming over. I delivered the rug, put it where the pool table is supposed to be. The company probably come back after two, three days later, put the pool table on the top of the rug. Everything's done. 
perfectly, I got paid, the lady is happy, I'm happy, done deal. A month later, I forget already about the whole things, and the lady called. My wife called me to the office. She said, uh-uh, the lady called. I said, okay. Yes, my dear, what can I do for you? And the lady said to me, Martin, you can, can you please come over? I said, sure, I'm on my way. The lady was very nice. I have to. I'm driving all the way to her house, coming to the garage, the lady opened the garage, looked at me with a, I call it, a blue face. I said, what happened? She said, you are not going to believe it. The cat was the side over there. She was always sitting on my seat, the driver's seat in a Bentley. She jumped to the car and she was sitting all the time. And every morning then I come over, I saw her over there. And I said to myself, okay, fine. She's sitting over there. She probably miss me. She don't want to sit over there. She's, it's fine if she's just sitting in a car and having a good time over there in my car. I don't mind. She is clean. She is nice. I don't have any problem to brush the hair from the seat. Perfect. My husband come back from trip. He said to me in the morning, he is leaving. And he went to the garage to pick up his car and go to work. He come back from the car and the face, I look at his face and uh, I know, I know something is wrong. I look at him and I said, what's happened? He looked at me, he said, come over. I want to show you something. I walk behind him with a palpitation in my heart and I know something bad is happened. I'm coming to the garage and he took me to his car. I didn't see his car for such a long time because it's this is not my car, it's his car. And it's a convertible. He's standing near the car and I'm coming over, stand beside him and I'm looking at the car and I said, what, oh my God. And then this is what happened. The cat's using the back seat of the Bentley as a litter box. Bang! Can you do something? I look at her and I said, I'm sorry, my dear. This is above my power. Something like this, I cannot take care of it. It's too much pee pee and doo-doo and everything's over there and it's go to the seat and to the carpeting the dealer have to replace the seat all the seats and the carpet good luck thank you for watching pet pp Pee -Pee. the only one Guarantee in writing urine odor removal organically and naturally by using the blended minerals from the Dead Sea. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.